Hello and welcome back to That's Football. This is your daily interactive transfer rumour roundup where you guys get to have all your opinions and tell me all your opinions about the latest transfer news. But my head's gone. There's some breaking news, guys. Breaking news. As you can see down at the bottom of the screen, Fekir to Liverpool transfer is off. It's done. Leon, in the last few minutes, in the last five minutes, in fact, have come out with a statement saying that uh, Liverpool to Fekir, the, um, the negotiations have broken down and that he will be staying at Leon uh, for next season. I've translated the, um, the, the statement. It was originally in French. It's along the lines of, obviously this is a rough translation, Olympic Lyon informs that uh, the negotiations with Liverpool Football Club and Nabil Fekir for the transfer um, of the captain of Lyon have not succeeded and that Olympic Lyon has decided to put an end to the negotiation tonight uh, at 8 o'clock. Very, very, very just amazing news, breaking news, Liverpool... Have that, pal. Have the L. You were going on about him coming. You know, Fekir, Fabinho and Cater is going to win us the league next season. How did that go, pal? How did that go? Fekir will not be at Liverpool Football Club next season. Get in the comments. What do you guys think about this? This is absolutely uh, massive news. Absolutely massive news. Um, I did have your comments up here just a minute ago. But Fekir, it, it, was, it was a lot of um, speculation that the... The transfer broke down due to the uh, failing in medical. We don't know whether that's the case yet. It might be the case. There was a lot of rumours that the transfer was going to happen after the World Cup due to the fact that Fekir failed the medical because um, he had a dodgy knee or something. But coming out in the last five minutes that Fekir will not be at Liverpool next season, for me... Oh, I find it bloody hilarious. I do. You know, Liverpool fans are waxing lyrical about Naby Keita, um, Nabil Fekir and Fabinho. Now what you got? Just take the L. As Phil Foster says, take the L. Get in the comments, lads. What do you think about it? Liverpool fans, are you gutted? Um, Manchester United fans, are you happy? I want to know what all you guys think. Oh boy, says Leon want more money. That is not the case. Leon do not want more, more money. It's not a money situation. It, it, it will not happen. It is not, uh, there's no speculation in this. There is no sort of rumours. It's not coming from the Telegraph or the Sun. It's coming from Olympic Lyon themselves on their Twitter page in the last 10, 5, 10 minutes that the, that the deal um, for Fekir to Liverpool is off. Deal is off 100%. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I shouldn't have worn such a flamboyant shirt because it's taken the attention off Fekir. What are you guys thinking about it? Uh, Jared says, I am having a laugh. Um, guys, you guys are talking about my shirt. Get in about Fekir. I really think they found a bad knee issue. That was the um, rumours, uh, Jared. The rumours were that, look, he did the medical. He had the medical at Liverpool. He failed it due to his knee then the rumours were that he was going to complete the deal after the World Cup. Apparently not. According to Leon, the deal is just completely shut down and it's ended. Um, mad. Madness. It's absolutely mad. I want to know what you guys think. Wesley says, Sander is clearly on drugs. Nobody is that excited. Mate, you don't know the passion I've got for football, pal. Mate, honestly, this is absolutely mad news. Um, FIFA 19 announced with Champions League. We're talking about Nabil Fekir today. To give you a little bit of background about Fekir, um, this season in League 1, 18 goals, 7 assists. In the Europa League, 3 goals, 1 assist. And in the Coupe de France, uh, 2 goals. So in all competitions, that's 40 games, 23 goals, 8 assists. He sort of plays as a number 10. He would have come into Liverpool as a Coutinho replacement. Um, we've got a donation here from Jared that I will read out in a minute. But uh, yeah, he would have come into Liverpool as a Coutinho replacement. Um... I think it would have been very, very good. I thought it would have been a good signing. It's, you know, going from, let's say, John Henderson, um, James Milner and, and, and Oxlade Chamberlain to Naby Keita, Fabinho and Nabil Fekir. You can say what you like about it, but that would have been a serious, serious upgrade. But Nabil Fekir will not be moving to Liverpool. Um, Jared says that is just a fucking terrible shirt, Sander. Look, I thought I'd wear it. We didn't have a show yesterday, so I, I, I spy, I'm spicing it up for today. This news only came out five minutes ago. We have got a lot of news about Neymar and, and, and what Marcelo about his situation. Kane, Deli Ali, Ericsson as well. But this Fekir news is, is unbelievable. It's come out in the last 10 minutes. Um, CJX says, but, but, 
but it was confirmed. <laughs> it just wasn't though, was it? Liverpool fans. Have we got any Liverpool fans in here? I know I'm laughing at you. Um, and I think I've sort of got a right to. That's what football's all about, isn't it? I, off, on this channel, I try and stay as neutral as possible. But you can't not laugh, can you? cannot not laugh in this. A lot of, you know, Liverpool fans were going, hashtag feck here Friday. It's going to happen to... Out of that, out of that turn, pal. Um... Mark says, feck off. Yeah, it is. It is. Liverpool fans, feck off. It is. Um, you would think we've won the Champions League, the amount of excitement coming out from this man. Wesley, no, we've not. Well, you should see me when we do win the Champions League, pal. Um, Fecky didn't fail his physical. Lol. Liverpool too greedy. It's not true. It's not true. That, um, the rumours were that Fecky had failed his medical. I was... Um, it was to be believed that due to the fact that he failed his medical, the deal was going to happen after the World Cup. But come out from Leon in the last few minutes that um, that the deal is well, the deal is actually off. That's football says Liverpool have obviously annoyed Leon because so many people thought that was done. Mate, uh, I don't know what's happened. We obviously saw, um, you know, we saw with Liverpool going in for Virgil Van Dijk, they had some sort of unauthorized contact with Van Dijk. Therefore, the deal was. Pro, like, you know, put off slightly, postponed. Could this, hap could this have happened with Fekir? You thought that they would, um, they would have learned from their mistake, but clearly not. Is it down to the medical? Is it down to their approach of it? Obviously, Leon did come out a few days ago, was it yesterday, saying that the Fekir um, speculation to Liverpool was actually false. Many believed that that was to do with the fact that they were a, um, they were a registered company and, and a business. Clearly, I don't, I don't know what's happened. I want to know what you guys think. Seriously, though, Liverpool, Liverpool fans, very, very weird. Exactly. I know we've got a lot of United fans in the comments bantering you off, but I want to know, Liverpool fans, what do you think? Um, the Anfield Raw says, Mark, it's because he had problems with his knee and he wanted to get a bit of money off him and we refused to go ahead with it. Potentially, I, I think that is the case. Apparently, he saw a picture of Klopp's real teeth and turned the plane around. Pilot, back, 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 back way to France, pal. Back to France. <laughs> it was on the grounds he couldn't, he wouldn't dip in the bins with the rest of them. A lot of banter going out in the comments, which is good. So long as um, you guys aren't being personal and, and abusive, banter's fine, isn't it? I'm sure uh, Liverpool fans would be giving United fans the same level of banter if it happened to us, as they did when Griezmann uh, fell through. Lol, Liverpool fans were saying, if we get Fekir, we'll win the league, deluded as usual. Look, all I say is, if they did get Fekir, which obviously isn't going to happen, I'd be very, very scared. I would be very, very scared. It is a fantastic midfield that they would have got. Not only would they have had Salah, Mane and Firmino, but in behind that, you'd have Fekir with uh, Naby Keita being busy, Fabinho sitting, maybe a centre-back and a goalkeeper on that side. And that, for me, is, 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 is title-challenging. I don't know. I don't know how they're gonna, who they're gonna get in now with Fekir. As we saw last year with United, you spend all this time trying to focus on a, on a deal that eventually falls through. Now you've got to reset completely. United worked so hard and so long on that Antoine Griezmann deal. It fell through, and they're a no man's land. They didn't know where to take it from there. You might see that with Fekir now. Uh, Mark says, bottom line is Liverpool will go and get someone else, and they could be better than Fekir. They won't just not spend that money. It's true, but I, I, I'm not sure who, could, who they could get that is better than Fekir in that position that would go to Liverpool. I, I don't know who they could get. That's another question I can throw to you guys. As per usual, this is an interactive show. I've got your comments here nice and large. So get in the comments. Who do you think Liverpool now go out and get to, well, not to replace Fekir, to sort of fill that gap that he sort of left? Um, what I will say, though, in fairness to Liverpool, all these United fans that were going, oh, he's, Fekir is not very good, he's going to be a bad signing, he's only in Liga and he's going to flop. Well, you see what they really thought went now when you see their reaction to the fact that it's fallen through. At least that's a positive to take, isn't it? Liverpool fans here, Liverpool fan here, I really like seeing Oxley chamberlain play. He's really improved this year. Josh, I mean, that is another potential aspect you could take. You might not spend the money necessarily for a, a number 10, like Feck here. You might spend it elsewhere, but you might just keep Oxlade Chamberlain in that position. Of course, like you say, Josh, he has improved a lot. You brought him in in, in the summer, last summer. 
for a rumoured fee of about 40 mil. He has got better. Um, for me, I don't think uh, Oxlade Chamberlain as a number 10 is good enough to get you the title, which of course is what a big club like Liverpool is going to aim to do. People saying Werner, yeah, it's a good. That would be a good, uh, a good idea. Gaz says a goalkeeper. This is what I think. Mark said that look, Liverpool are not not going to spend that money that they've clearly got from the Coutinho deal. Okay, they might not spend that. They're definitely not going to spend that. They're definitely not not going to spend that money. Um, but they might not spend it as a number ten. They might spend it. A, a top-class centre-back to join um, Virgil van Dijk. Might spend it for a right-back, a goalkeeper, which they definitely do need. I mean, as Jared says now, God help us if they get Oblak. They're not going to get Fekir. They might keep Oxley chamberlain at, in that number 10 position and think, look, we've got this extra 50, 60 mil. Let's splash it on Oblak and get rid of that carrier smug. Do you know what I mean? It, it might happen that way. And then who's laughing? Then who's laughing? Liverpool, in my opinion. They will get Asensio now. They won't get Asensio. Not happening. Stephen Perry says, Liverpool don't need any more midfield. They need a defender and a goalkeeper at worst. This is true. I, I, I think Fekir would have been a luxury. Like you say, they don't need him. They've got other areas that they need to strengthen more than they do that number 10 position. But no one's going to sort of turn down a, a Nabil Fekir deal. Like I said, I'll read the stats out again for you guys. In 40 games, um, where is it? In 40 games, 23 goals and 8 assists. Now, although, yes, he is playing in Ligue 1 and the predominant amount of goals, uh, 18 of them and 7 assists, did come in Ligue 1, you've got to be a bloody good player to get those sort of stats. So, um, there is going to be a miss. He is going to be a miss. Zizo saying Forsberg. I don't know what the situation is with Forsberg. He could potentially come in um, to Liverpool. But what I will say is, if Liverpool haven't been working on that first Forsberg deal, which they clearly haven't been, Transfers take far longer than a, like a week or two to do. They, they, they take a lot of time to plan and settle and medicals and personal negotiations and things like that. So, look, it's all well and good saying, oh, let's just now go for Forsberg. Oh, you don't know what his plan is. He, he, he might think, oh, Jesus, I'm going by Munich or somewhere else like that. You know, it, it takes longer than a week or just to turn around and go, let's get Forsberg. Liverpool will still get Feck here, in my opinion. They will go in back, back in for him. Well, no, they won't. I, they, they won't. Olympic Lyon have today come out and said, and I quote, Olympic Lyon informs that the negotiations with the Liverpool Football Club um, and Nabil Feck here for the transfer of the captain of Lyon have not succeeded and that Olympic Lyon has decided to put an end to this negotiation tonight at 8 p.m. It's not going to happen, pal. It's not going to happen. Guys, if you are new to the channel, of course, or you just haven't subscribed already, we're on 32,804 subscribers. So get involved. Get subscribing. Um, we've got so much content coming up. All the World Cup games with previews and match reactions and breaking transfer news like this as well. So get involved if you haven't already. I don't know how many people of you are watching, but if there's 250, 300 of you watching... At least 50 of you can get subscribed so we can get closer to 40k, which of course is our goal. Um, maybe Liverpool go back for Lamar. Sure, they tried last season. That's a good point. Stephen, uh, Stephen Perry makes a good point. Maybe they would go back in for Lamar. Lamar was heavily linked to Atletico Madrid, though. A deal was almost set, almost set in stone, really, for him to go to Atletico Madrid. Could they hijack that deal? Anything can happen in football. Let me know who should Liverpool go back in for now that that Fekir deal is done. And let me know what you think about the Fekir deal falling through. Is, is it almost going to benefit Liverpool now that they've got money to save and spend on, on an Oblak maybe? Or will it be a massive loss to them next season? We need a goalkeeper and a centre-back and a forward. That's our main priority now. That's from Douglas a Liverpool fan himself. Um, I think Fekir would have been that attacking player. I, I agree with you with a goalkeeper and a centre-back. I think you turn your attention uh, to that now if you're a Liverpool player, or Liverpool manager and member of the board. Fekir isn't joining Liverpool. Get over it. I mean, I just have spent the last 15 minutes rambling on about that, pal, but fair enough. <laughs> fair enough. Um, Liverpool should sign Fellaini. To be fair, I think they could do with Fellaini. Honestly, 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 
think they could do with Fellaini. They don't have anyone that could really come off the bench and make an impact, really. I mean, Solanke's not going to do it, is he? I think they, they lack that player who's going to put a bit of steel into the midfield and, and, and get into the box in the last five minutes and cause havoc. They don't have that. So, Liverpool, if any member of the Liverpool board, or Jurgen Klopp even, is watching now, I will drive... I live in Madrid, but I'll get the plane over to Manchester and I'll drive Marouane Fellaini to whatever your ground is called, Liverpool. I'll drive him to Anfield for you, free of charge, on me. Sander, where have you been for the past couple of months? I've missed you. I did a watch log two days ago, pal. <laughs> Liverpool tried to renegotiate after his medical, yet Oblak would be great signing for anyone besides United. I, I think that too. I think Oblak is the second best goalkeeper in the world, in my opinion. So like you say, anyone other than Manchester United who have the best goalkeeper... All Black's a good signing for, although he will be very expensive, 80 million plus. Oh, this guy's a United fan. Cater and Fabinho apologist. Yes, I am, pal. Look, on this channel, I try and stay as neutral as possible. Um, when talking about transfers and, and, and doing the watch longs, I try and stay neutral. I get a lot of criticism for staying neutral. People saying, oh, you're not a real United fan if you celebrate a, a Liverpool goal. But, um, but, um, no, look, what was I saying? He's, he's throwing me off guard there. But, no, but, this is, uh, this is, it's difficult not to go in. It's difficult not to go in. We need a goalkeeper and a centre-back and not more attacking options. Good. Right, are, are we all happy with that? Are we all happy with talking about that? We've got a lot of big news um, to talk about as well. Not only do we have the Nabil Fekir news, we'll come back to it at the end. But I, I want to tell you guys about, um, about some other news in Neymar. Uh, I know as the United stand says United, United, United. Uh, Nabil Fekir is the big news today, but there is other news that we need to talk about in Neymar. Um, it came out in an interview the other day, actually. Marcelo was being interviewed and he said, the door is always open for Neymar to join Real Madrid. Now, I've got a few direct quotes on that, but as I told you months ago now, look, I'm a nobody. I'm a nobody, but I've got one, one fairly close connection to the world of football, and that is to Real Madrid. Um, very, very close, in fact. And, and, and he's told me that Neymar to Real Madrid is more, more likely than you'd think it would be. Um, talks have gone on, apparently, and, um, well, expect the unexpected is all he said. But I've got direct quotes here from Marcelo. Um, he said, all the players want Ronaldo to stay at Real Madrid, but one thing is not related to the other. The door is always open for Neymar to join. He said, I think the best players in the world have to play at Real Madrid. And, ad and as I already said, uh, two or three years, wait, and I already said for two or three years that for me, one day Neymar will be there. Very, very, very interesting comments from the Brazilian left back. Of course, Marcelo is... Um, with Neymar at the moment, with the Brazil squad preparing for the World Cup, which of course starts in five days' time. So, um, well, if you're into your footy and you're into your World Cup, this is the place to be. Every single World Cup watch along on this channel with match reactions and things like that as well. Um, but that's off topic. Anyway, on Marcelo and, and, and Neymar, get in the comments what you guys think about that deal. Um, and as I wait for your comments to come in, I'll tell you mine. I think um, if I had to give this a, a rating out of 10, whether it was going to happen or not, I'd probably go 7. I think it's very, very likely. Um, it might not happen this season, which is why I've, why I've given it a 7. But I think Neymar to Real Madrid is... Uh, it, it will happen. It, it will happen eventually. This season or not, it will happen eventually. Um, as he said, everyone wants Ronaldo to stay at the club. A lot of rumours that... To get Neymar to Real Madrid in terms of FFP and things like that, Ronaldo or Bale would have to move on. He said that those two things aren't related. I don't agree with him. I don't agree. I think that's being political. I don't agree with him. I think, one, if you kept Bale and Ronaldo at the club together, where, we, where, would, you, where would you play Neymar? <laughs> where would you play Neymar? Not only that, FFP would be... You'd be taking a piss out of FFP. Thirdly... Um, I just think, I, I, I just, like I said, I don't think where, I don't know where he'd fit in. Neymar, why would he go to Real Madrid? Let's talk about that. I think 
he moved to PSG apparently to uh, to increase his chances of winning the Ballon d'Or to get out of Messi's um, to get out of Messi's shadow. Now, for me, you you cannot win the Ballon d'Or in Ligue 1 unless you go out in the Champions League and absolutely smash it and win it and score a hat trick in the final. For me, you're not winning the Ballon d'Or in Ligue 1 because you can score 50 goals in Ligue 1, and you know people would still go, it's Ligue 1, no. It's a farmer's league. Do you know what I mean? So him moving to La Liga, there's definitely that incentive for me. Um, what do you guys say in the comments? As per usual, I've got your comments here nice and large. Uh, Mark. Oh, no, he's on the United Stand account at the moment. I thought, make me a mod, because sometimes I don't have mods in the chat. And um, we've just got some tosses, <laughs> tosses on, chatting a load of waffle. So uh, sometimes I need to time people out, but I can't because I'm not a mod. But anyway, um, Neymar went to PSG to stop a direct move to Madrid, to stop the abuse he would have faced. Not a bad point. Not a bad point. Neymar is, of course, not in favour with the Barcelona fans at all. So, look, he's got nothing to lose there. If he went to Real Madrid, yeah, they'd hate him even more. But they hate him already. So that, that for me, is not an issue. Uh, Madrid will surely have to let Bale or Ronaldo go. I do, I'd agree with that. Um, and if either of those were, were to go... You look around the place and you, you, there's only a few options. Uh, I don't think they'd go to Manchester City once again with FFP. Pep Guardiola came out a few weeks ago and said that they don't have that level of money to spend each summer. So I don't see them going to um, Man City. Bayern Munich, I doubt it. They're not going to go to Barcelona. Uh, and they're not going to go to PSG, although Ronaldo might. I doubt it. Manchester United is the place you'd have to look to, isn't it? It really is. Neymar is off to Madrid. I'd agree with... I, I, I think that is going to happen. I do think it's going to happen. So Liverpool got told to feck here off. I mean, they've royally got told to feck off. They, it's a feck off situation. It's a feck off situation for Liverpool. Um, but moving on from Neymar and feck here, Kane, Harry Kane, of course, the other day signed a six-year deal with Spurs. Now, this obviously has caused a lot of discussion about ambition and desire for trophies and things like that. But it's come out today that um, Deli Ali and, and Ericsson, Christian Ericsson, are going to follow suit in terms of the contract situation. Apparently, they are going to follow Harry Kane and sign long-term contracts at, um, at White Hart Lane, which I think is definitely, it makes sense, doesn't it? You know, you've got your figurehead of the side. If he's committing six years to the club, or the contract at least, you know, the players around him are thinking, oh, bloody hell, well, I won't be off then. I'll stay. If he wants to stay here, I'll stay here as well. We've got something good going at the moment. So, look, I think that's definitely something that can happen. Um, what do you guys think of that? Ali and Eriksson apparently going to uh, sign long-term contracts at Spurs in the next few days. Let me know. Sander, ban Eric. I, I can't. Like I said, I can't. I'm not a mod. I'm not a mod. Josh Bradley says, six years is a big mistake. Now, look, let's talk about this. Uh, Mark talked about it the other day, of course. I'd echo his thoughts, but I'd sort of put my own little spin on them. I think I'm slightly more open-minded when it comes to that sort of ideal theory, if you know what I mean. Basically, Mark's argument was that um, he doesn't get it. He thinks that Harry Kane is better than Spurs and that he will not win the, the sort of level of trophies that he should be winning with the quality that he does possess. And I'd agree with that. I, I agree. Harry Kane should be playing for a, for a Real Madrid, a Barcelona, that top echelon level of club. With Spurs, he's not going to do that. I don't believe they will be winning a Champions League anytime soon, let alone a Premier League. But it has obviously it is common knowledge that Harry Kane supports Tottenham. And now for me, he, he might not be of the mindset that trophies is everything. He might be of the mindset that, look, if I can represent my boyhood club and if I can play up front, lead the line for Spurs and get them to be as sex, sexful, as successful as possible, then I'm happy. Mark argued that he might look back on his career and think, there's no trophies. And to me and Mark and many of you, that would be a disappointment. But for many as well, playing for your boyhood club and, 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 and maybe winning them an FA Cup or two and just winning the fans over might, might be enough. We saw that with Steven Gerrard, didn't we? It's a different mindset. It's a different mindset. Um, I am personally of the mindset of trophies. If I was playing for Spurs and I had Real Madrid calling up, I'd be off, mate. Adios. Hola. Do you know 
you know what I mean? <laughs> Do you know what I mean? I'll be in Madrid. I am in Madrid, but I'll be in Madrid before you can say sign the contract. Do you know what I mean? Um, but some players might not be of that mindset. I guess Harry Kane's being very loyal. Yeah, well, I, think, I don't think you can argue against that, can you? Sander, Harry Kane's boyhood club is Arsenal, I swear. Um, well, I heard it was, I heard it was uh, Spurs, pal. Kane will end up like Shearer, club legend, and probably break the Premier League record, but win nothing. Steven Gerrard, prime example, isn't he? Kane would suit Madrid more. He would even suit it at Barcelona. I think he would suit Madrid like a glove. Like Mark said, Benzema's getting on. They need a striker. Um, he's in his prime now, Harry Kane. He would, I think he would just fit Real Madrid like a glove. Like Mark said, personally, I'm not English, but he would do England proud. He really would. And, you know, Not many strikers and, and players have gone over to um, other places in Europe and done well, and I think Harry Kane would do that. I think he would do well at, at Madrid, and I think he would win Champions Leagues. But it's clearly, that's, that's not what he wants to do. Why are you jabbering about? It was due to medical failure from his old ACL injury. What are you on about? <laughs> I'm not jabbering about, pal. Um, true Sander, perfect example. Good. Anyway, I hope you guys have enjoyed the show. We are 26 minutes into it, so I can go on for about five minutes or so. If you haven't already, chaps, then do get subscribing. We're on 32,810 subscribers. Now, we're trying to get, well, trying to get a mil subscribers, but that's not going to happen anytime soon unless, I don't know, unless we blow up. But we do want to get as many of you involved as possible because the point of the channel is to get as many opinions in the comments. And the more opinions involved, the more debate there is. And that's what the channel is all about. So if you haven't already, then do get subscribing. We've got the live um, subscriber count there. We're on 32,000 810. We've got all the World Cup watch-alongs coming up, along with a World Cup preview, World Cup match reactions, Mark's daily um, topical shows, and uh, and breaking news like this, breaking live transfer news um, like this. So uh, if you do enjoy your footy, this is the place to be. I seriously hate your shirt. Lads, if you're not a fan of the shirt, you're just not, you know, you're not, you're not on quite the level. Do you know what I mean? I thought, look, basically, yesterday, I couldn't do a show because my Wi-Fi decides to absolutely just pack itself in. Um, for any of you that are interested, I, I usually have about 30 megabytes per second upload speed. Yesterday, I had one. Uh, that's bad. You can't even go live with that. So I couldn't go live. So today, I thought, what can I do to make up for yesterday? A fancy shirt. It was the, ol it was the obvious conclusion I had to come to. So here I am. Uh, sorry if I've been a bit rambly and a bit overexcited today. I've, I've found it difficult to stay calm. I do apologise if I've gone in on Liverpool fans because it has only come out in the last five to ten minutes. So this is my, this is my uncensored, uh, unrational Manchester United opinion. So I do apologise if I've pissed you off. Um, but I'm excited and I can't help myself. I'm sorry, I'll try and change it in the future. That shirt, that shirt is chill. I mean, it's not chill. It's anything but that. I think you could say it's flamboyant is the word I'd go with. Liverpool wanted to renegotiate the fee because of the medical issue. I think that is quite smart by Liverpool. Now, look, there is loads of things that this, this transfer breakdown could be down to. It could be down to they simply didn't want to sign someone with that level of injury. They didn't want to pay more. They, it might have been due to their approach to the player. It might have just been, I don't know, it could, be a, it could be down to a number of things. But the point of the matter is, the matter of the point is, the point is that he's not going to be at Liverpool next season. And, and, and at the end of the day, that's the headline. That's what Leon have come out and said. And that's the breaking news. He will not be at Liverpool next season. Um, they have ended negotiations with Liverpool Football Club. Where do you take it from now? Is all I say. Guys, get in the comments. Not only are you here, but if I finish this stream and you're watching this, get in the actual comments. I'm often in there replying to you guys, talking to you guys about all the topics that have been discussed in the video. So get involved. Drop a like on the video if you haven't already. And um, I think that's about it for today, isn't it? We are 30 minutes into it. Mark will be going live soon. 
Cheers. So I hope I haven't been too, you know, over uh, overheated today, overexcited. Um, but naturally, breaking news like this, you, you can't help yourself, can you? But thanks everyone for joining me. I will be here tomorrow. Yeah, I'll probably be here tomorrow with you. Um, I'll have to discuss it with Mark whether we're going to do a Sunday night transfer show or not. But if I'm not here tomorrow, I'll definitely be here on Monday with a transfer show. Thanks everyone for joining me. I'll speak to you all soon. Very good. Nabil Fekir to Liverpool. Not going to happen. Sorry, Liverpool fans. Very good. <laughs>